Hey, Alan, what's up? I'm here with Justin Nozuka. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Good, man. Good to Thank see you, man. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Justin just finished breaking the office, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, first thing I wanted to ask you about, and I just read this on your website, is you're uh, playing David Letterman. Yeah. That's huge, yeah, man. Next week. Have you done that before? Have you not Letterman? No. Are you excited, or you know? Yeah, I I haven't really uh, processed it, you know. Um, but my family just sent me an email yesterday, and everybody heard about it, and everyone was really excited. And it's it's making me a little bit nervous now that there's a lot of this kind of energy around it, you know, because uh, and I know it is a big deal, but um, trying not to make it too much of a big deal. Are you a Letterman guy or are you a Leno guy? I actually really like Conan O'Brien. I don't really rock, I don't really watch. Um, I don't really watch uh, those late night shows, but um, I, I always really liked Conan O'Brien's vibe on TV. You yeah, know? Like, for he sure. He just seems like the coolest guy. He's also Irish, and he's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he was actually really good with music. He'd always play. He'd always give other you know bands you normally wouldn't see. He would always yeah. he'd always book some. I good saw, I've seen a lot of cool things on his show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your new record. Um, I was reading that for you, for this album, it, it made sense for you to, to get more introspective. And you do tour with a band, though. Mm -hmm. So was that, you know, as you're growing up and you're writing music, because you started really young, you know, was that something as you grew up, you realized that it's easier for me to make a song by myself than with a band? Yeah. Naturally, I think of my, um, my experience with music and creating music, was always a personal thing, you know? So it was, um, it, I always feel uncomfortable around people when I'm writing for some reason. It's just something, I, I guess I just like to have my time and my space to to do what, what needs to be done for me to express myself, you know? And um, I guess it says a lot about my comfortable, my comfortability, does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> does now, it's a word, it's no especially a word. Comfortability <laughs> with other people. You know, mm -hmm. but yeah, music is music is a really personal thing for me. But I mean, you're is. you're on stage. You know, is it easier when you're when you're on stage playing with an acoustic by yourself, or when you do have a band behind you? They're two different things. <laughs> two very different things. You know, I love having a band behind me because it's just there's there's depth in the music and there's many different worlds. You know, different emotions and different. You know different energy um, so I love I love that I love being on stage with my band and I think it's it, for me it's one of the it's definitely definitely very important for me to be on stage with my musicians and to be on stage playing music with them but there's also another thing playing on my own as well it's just a different thing you know different relationship with the song and a different it's a different thing you know yeah yeah because yeah, I notice like when I play guitar on my own I'm not really thinking about timing or, you know, like, where, where it lands. I'm just kind of going with it and feeling it. There's a connection that I have with my guitar and my voice and all of it. You know, it's all happening through me. Whereas when I'm playing with a band, everybody needs to be on the same, same hey. wavelength. You know, yeah. we all got to be connected on this thing, you know. So that's a, it's just another thing, but just as powerful, if not more. So, and I mean, you need a band with this, with this record especially. I mean, it's... There's so many different sounds going on. Uh, like, how many guys are in the band, or girls? I have, um, there's three guys in the band right now. That we've been playing for three years together. And um, we're waiting to, to add a percussionist who played on the album, Diego. Uh, so we've been touring as a four-piece band for three years or so. Um, but we want to expand it more, too, you know? But it's really nice the way it locks right now. Just us four on stage. Well, let's talk about the record because, uh, well, I guess my first question is, you know, is this a breakup album? A breakup album? Breakup from a relationship? A relationship, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's not a breakup album at all. Um, one word that strikes me that came up on the record a lot I thought was soul. And I wondered if you're a spiritual guy. Yeah. I, I'm a spiritual guy. Um, I think everybody's spiritual, you know? I mean, I guess some people aren't really um, motivated to experience it or, or, you know, wanted to get in touch with it, but I think 
we're living in a in a pretty spiritual environment. Not, I mean, not environment really in the society of things, but in the reality of things. You know, just the concept of us being born into this world, period, and living life in this world and being on the path that we're on. On, you know, I think it's all very spiritual or magical or whatever you want to say. Well, what I find really interesting is when I brought that up, you pointed to the skyline in the city. Yeah. Um, and on the cover of the record, you seem to be at peace in the city. And now you, you were telling me earlier before we, we hit record that you were born in New York, you lived there until you were seven, and then you came to Toronto. Mm -hmm. So how much has the city affected your music? Gosh, I don't know, man. Or maybe um, just you as a musician. Yeah. It's really hard to say what kind of an influence it's had on me, really, you know? I mean, I, I've been in cities, but I've also kind of done my own thing and stayed away from the cities. Is there an energy there with the city? In the cities? I think so, for sure, you know? There's all these people together, clumped together, you know? Um, without a doubt, you know, there's many different expressions and and things that are formed from the situation that people are born into you know being in the city i know i know growing up in high school um a big group of my friends were uh in the b-boy scene and they were very um i guess um just involved in that scene you know and i always had a liking to that and they also did a lot of Graffiti? tagging yeah and um it was just a different culture, a different way of life. And I think that's what's cool about multicultural cities and big cities is that there are many different ways of life. You know, sure, there's a surface way of life, but then there's all these different flows and different expressions and different... Flavors. Yeah, exactly. Different scenes, you know, different cultures.